What is your fall design for your garden this year? now to design what I'm gonna grow and wear. So I have my list in my trusty little garden, my garden planner. I have my list, check it out. So in the beginning, you have this section for ideas. I have all the seeds that I'm going to plant here. And then I've listed here seeds, new seeds that I'm gonna need the flowers that I'm gonna do. And then I even did a drawing. Now this drawing is not my plot plan, not just quite yet, but I need to take an inventory. This is my quasi plot plan here that I drew on the bottom. I'm gonna go around the garden and take inventory of what containers I have, where they're at, so then I can decide what I'm gonna plant and where, because I counted it up, guys. You see that list? says a fall garden doesn't have much in it. I have 20 plants that I'm going to plant and that's without, I think that's without the flowers. <laughs> Come on, join me in the garden. Let's see, let's take inventory of what I have and then exactly what I'm gonna plant and where and then getting my seedlings started so that I'm ready just as soon as the weather will cooperate. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Okay, so let's start in the corner. This is my beginning. Obviously, now this pot right here is my artichoke. And this artichoke plant is perennial. So it'll be in this pot for very long. That's why it's in a nice, big, pretty container. <laughs> okay, we've got these smaller containers. So I've got three small flower pot type containers. So I have my zinnias in them and I really do not feel as though I will change that. Zinnias will actually do just fine up to a point in the winter. So I think I'm just going to leave those be. I can toss some other things in there if I need to. Now this grow bag back here, this large grow bag, um, I really want to keep that for my sunflower Steve, sunflowers even throughout the winter. So I'm probably not gonna drop that one down either. <laughs> All right, so here we go. One five gallon bucket. This has my Zulu peppers in it right now, but let's go ahead and, oops. As you see here, this is my little list here and I'm just gonna start putting a little notch as to what I have and where. Okay, so that's one. <clears throat> five gallon bucket. So we've got a little stick for that. Okay. This is my shishito peppers here. This is a large grow bag and these will be coming out. So <clears throat> we have a large grow bag. Okay. So we'll put a notch for that. <clears throat> Ritzy, that's enough. Look at her over there. She's so noisy. Nosy and noisy. No Ritz. Come. Come on crazy little girl. Okay. So amongst all these sunflowers, there is another five gallon bucket there. So that's another notch, another five gallon bucket. Now these little pink containers that are on top of the uh, five gallon buckets, these are not permanent. These are, you know, flimsy plastic. And I knew that these would not last for a long, long time. However, I will say that, you know, I have gophers and so we do have to container plant. However, I could actually put that one in the ground. The reason why I moved these up is because of pest pressure. So I'm not decided yet on that. So that is not going to be one that I'll count because that'll just be flowers or something else. Not something that I would put from my list. Okay, there's one two more 
five gallon buckets so we'll mark those down okay and again these pots here I'm not going to count not at this point if I need them later for something else then I know I have them okay and these as well these small containers that I have all my marigolds and basil in I'm not going to count those because those will remain in there these are pots that I um, grow something that helps with pest pressure always so that will not go into my count either but behind there can you see it <laughs> behind there there is another five gallon bucket that has um, my pepperoncini peppers in there so we will mark that one down another five gallon bucket okay moving on along over here we have now you probably can't see them but we have one two those are two small grow bags so we'll put two sticks there this is a large grow bag here that has two tomato plants in it this is the d d napoli paste cherry tomato i know that's a mouthful so we have that's another large grow bag so we can put another knot there another large grow bag and then this one here this five gallon bucket i'm going to count it but it does have the blue hubbard um blue hubbard squash and kale in it which right now is being utilized as uh, pest pressure so it's kind of a sacrificial pot right now but i'm going to go ahead and count it anyway this one has okra in it so then we have one two three um yeah i don't know look at i i don't know if that that pumpkin you see it there it doesn't look too healthy i don't know if it's going to make it or not so i'm gonna go ahead and count the bucket i can always find something else if i need to so that's one two three four more five gallon buckets okay one two three and four mark on my list and then we have another small grow bag here right in here that has okra in it so we'll mark that down another small grow bag this is a large grow bag with this beautiful volunteer for the sunflower and watermelon in there <clears throat> so another large grow bag okay and now we start with the large actual containers right so i'll probably grow like bok choy in there or the all the brassicas will probably go in these larger pots so under large pots we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen 14, 15. Okay, 15 large containers. Whew, so let me write that down. So large pots, 15. Okay. Now this one is another artichoke. So it's perennial. So I won't be taking that out. And I already have other sunflowers planted in there. Um, these, I have those two. So, um, one, two, three, four, five. So five more pots. Five. Okay. Again, we're not counting these smaller ones. These are going to be for marigolds or basil, that type of thing. Put another five gallon bucket. Actually, that one just kept volunteer cosmos. I never really needed it, so. But you always want to have a pot ready and available. <laughs> okay, back wall here. So we've got cucumbers in that one. Um, so, I don't know. 
it'll be available later so that'll be a later, later crop this is beans um, I don't know I'm gonna go ahead and count it because I may have to replant something so one <coughs> this is a <coughs> excuse me pest pressure bucket so I'm not gonna count that one so for now I'm just gonna count this one so that's one this one's empty two three four five gallon buckets so four more five gallon buckets one two three and four um this large container i keep saying it's not going to make it another season see it's all cracked and whatnot but i, I think i might be able to get through another winter so i'm going to add that to the large containers so large pots we'll add one okay again these smaller ones these will be flowers or pest pressure type items okay so we've got one two three four four five gallon four more five gallon buckets one two three four um and this one here I've been using for pest pressure, so I'm going to leave that as is for now. I could, we'll see what I need to put in there. This large container here has flowers and herbs, but I may be able to put something else in there this year. We're going to clean it up and I'll decide later. This flower bed is available. This is a blue cupboard for pest pressure, and so we'll see. Um, that one may just stay depending on if I need it. Obviously that's my green stock. This has chives. And then the other side, we're gonna be taking out these old strawberries. I'll show you a picture of where these started <laughs> three years ago. Um, it's time for them to come out and I'll probably just plant some more chives um, or something else. I'm not really sure yet. So that's it on this side. These. These containers over here, they have onions in them right now. They're not quite ready. And I'll probably, I don't know, I may grow garlic in these again. So I'm not gonna count them right now because it's either gonna be more onions or garlic. So I'm not gonna count them. Okay. All right, here we go. We're almost there. <laughs> um, and that is, fennel it always it stays these flowers here I'm not counting those either um, because flowers these are zinnias they'll either stay in there or I'll put something else in there but not from my list this is another green stock that will always have strawberries in it all right this is a large grow bag but this large grow bag has this blue hubbard squash which is for pest pressure. So I will not be counting that one. All right, here's a large grow bag. Now, this is a large grow bag in shade. So I'm gonna count it, but honestly, um, I think I just may uh, put nasturtiums back in there again. This one here, I don't know. Um, this, look at that, nasturtiums grew on their own. The seeds dropped from the nasturtium that was crawling all over this pot and now it just receded itself, which I love when that happens. Okay, um, at some point this pot will be available once the pepperoncinis are done. So we will have one large pot. This, These two pots I brought from the back wall this morning, I'm gonna uh, plant mustard in here because I had some aphids all over my pepperoncini plant and it has been doing so well now you see all this damage from these bloody aphids but I got them all cleaned off and I'm just gonna keep at it every morning cleaning them off until I have a crop <laughs> okay so I'm not counting those I'm not gonna count that one for now either we can always pot something later this will always have my flowers in with my fountain. My fountain is down for maintenance. I um, I got to the point where I really could not um, 
justify putting distilled water in here and so this is what happens when you don't use distilled water it gets nasty so I gotta clean it out it'll be fine I just need to clean it but it's been too hot <laughs> these flowers will always remain actually these flowers have been here for three years now and they're fine I just um, cleaned it out there was an old one so we did pull one out but it's going great so that'll stay this will stay we'll add to this one so I'm not gonna count it no. Ritzy enough now we have one two three four five grow bags on this back wall so I'm gonna put them down but these are all in five in shape these are all in shape okay and so it's already gonna be winter so I need to be careful what I grow here I want to say I grew kale on this side just fine but I'll I'll decide that later okay I do have this pot here that will be available this is a peppercini plant which is kind of small right now so it will be available at some point but I'm not gonna count it right now either <laughs> okay this is a large grow bag we have one two three four five ritzy that's enough um one two three four five but they're pretty much taken right now this is carrots because i already planted carrots this is actually radishes so i mean i could use this for something else if i need something else on this back wall um they're really they've really just been used for pest pressure which they're doing a great job because they're all munched <clears throat> more carrots and then this is my turnips and they're not looking so good so I'm not sure what to do about that exactly um, but for now I will probably be adding some more seeds so I'm not gonna count that <coughs> Ritzy shush nobody wants to hear your noise stop it this is of course another flower pot so we won't be counting that and then this is my eggplant and we're not going to count it because it's still trying to grow. I keep getting ritzy. No, stop it. I keep getting uh, blossoms on here, but I haven't seen any fruit yet. So we'll see. This is, I just potted some flowers for winter in here. And they're coming along. Flowers take a little while, guys. Did you know that? <gasps> they do. They take a little while. Carnations. Yeah, they're, they're staying. So we're not going to count that either. So we've got four five gallon buckets back here <clears throat> with my sweet potatoes but I can't really count those right now that'll be something later or maybe not at all in the winter just because these sweet potatoes they take 120 days we're probably about halfway there now maybe not quite but pretty close to halfway there and then three buckets three lonely buckets I just stole two of them this morning for the mustard over by the pepperoncinis so um, five gallon buckets, we've got three more. One, two, three. Okay, now I have my count of what containers I have. So then I need to take a look and decide of each of these 20 uh, crops that I wanna grow, I need to decide how many I need, how many I want. For instance, the brassicas, you know? Um, broccoli will sprout again once you harvest it, but like cabbage, it's one and done. Um, Brussels sprouts, they'll, they'll come back. Uh, so I just need to take a look at that, see where they need to go. Do they need a lot of sun? It's already going to be winter, so they're not going to have as much sun. So we just got to take all those factors into account and then determine from there where I'm going to pot what. And then once I have all that, then I'm going to take a look at, hmm, so if this is what I need, then I need to um, plant seedlings. And I will plant extra seedlings because they don't always make it, right? <laughs> um, and I can't do all 20 uh, varieties all at the same time. I will have to do this in a couple sessions. So probably um, every two to three weeks, I'll have a new session of seedlings because by then I should be able to um, harden them off outside I do it on my patio works out really well so um, yeah <laughs> that's kind of where we're at now I get to sit down and decide what seedlings so hopefully in our next episode we'll be starting some seedlings and we'll know exactly where we're gonna have 
what. All right. Thanks for joining me today. You need to let me know what you're going to have in your fall garden. What's your design going to be? Peace. Until next time. Bye now.